so I wanted it to go to location two. So notice if I break this out in my profit and loss by class and run it, because I did this kind of double checking thing, meaning I broke this out by class and I broke it out by account, when there's an error, I can kind of see it because the classes are correct, but the account is wrong. This one is in location two correctly by class, but I assigned it to the location one account. So I can go in here and I could adjust all of them. So I can go, all right, I'm gonna fix all of these and reassign them to the proper account. The class is correct, but the account, I should have put it to the, uh, the test two account. Test two, so I'll just adjust these fairly quickly, hopefully. So I'm gonna go into each of them and say this should have gone to test two. And uh, just in case you were wondering whether or not this was done on purpose, for example, purposes, so you can see that double checking factor it, it was. This was the purposeful test. So you can see the, the linkage of the class tracking and how you can kind of double check. It was an internal control. It's a demonstration of the internal controls. So that's what we're doing this for. So let's just do the last one here and then we'll wrap this up. So we're gonna go into this one. K paso, K paso. All right, so then I can go back to my reports and boom, shaka laka. Go back. All right, so now we've got it broken out. So now we've got it broken out by location and we've also got it broken out. We split it by the items down here. Now note, there's pros and cons to whenever you're trying to break out your, your detail by location or department and whatnot. You could do both of these things and you can see one of the pros. It's kind of an overkill to have both two different classes and two different accounts, but you get that kind of added benefit of, of being able to find an error and go in and kind of fix it that way, which is kind of nice. Uh, the, the, it's kind of nice if you, if you have different sub accounts, then you could, you could uh, add, you know, the, you can collapse them and have them on one line item, and then you can expand them, which is kind of nice. If you have the two different locations, then of course you can run reports by location, or you can run a report that that's just in terms of the total. And once again, it would be nice if you're running class locations to have uh, everything assigned to one of one of your classes, so that the the non-specified area would be something that has not is an error that you can drill down and fix. All right, then just note that of course, if I go to my rule over here and I realize my rule was wrong, you have a wrong rule again, then I can go in, I can go into here and fix my rule. So I can edit my rule if I needed to. I'm not sure if I'm exactly in the one that was messed up, but this one, if it was going to location, that's the class location, the category, this one should have been two. Then it should be good going forward and I fixed the rule and so there is that. So we'll go into some more, a uh, little bit more in-depth rules again in, in more depth in future presentations.